In 1966, the United States Navy established the Mobile Riverine Force, MRF, in response to the actual situation in the Vietnam battlefield. This special force's main task was to serve the Army combat troops, transporting Army soldiers to the battlefield and providing firepower support during combat. This type of combat mission is similar to an amphibious landing, but it takes place in the developed water network and complex environment of the tropical freshwater river area. For this reason, the MRF also acquired a special armored transport boat, known as the Armored Troop Carrier, ATC. The ATC is not a newly designed weapon. It is a modification of the LCM-6 landing craft, developed in the United States in the 1950s. This landing craft is 17.1 meters long, 4.3 meters wide, has a full load displacement of 64 tons, and is powered by two Detroit 6-71 diesel engines, each with a single power of 348 horsepower, or two Detroit 8V-71 diesel engines with 460 horsepower each. The landing craft has a maximum speed of 9 knots, and can travel 240 kilometers at maximum speed. It has a crew of five and can carry 80 soldiers or 34 tons of cargo. This landing craft features a classic structural design suitable for shallow water travel with a boat body and bow ramp. The ATC is basically an armed and reinforced version of the landing craft with the power changed to two six-cylinder diesel engines. Each engine can output 225 horsepower at 2100 revolutions per minute in emergency situations and about 165 horsepower at around 1,800 revolutions per minute in normal conditions. This reduced power prevents the ATC from reaching 9 knots, with a maximum speed of only about 8 knots, and even lower in actual combat, usually ranging from 4 to 7 knots. The troop carrier has been armored and reinforced below the waterline, which not only increases its ability to withstand attacks, but also makes it more stable when carrying heavier cargo. Early lattice structures have also been installed in some important parts of the craft, mainly to counter RPG-2 and to detonate ammunition in advance. Despite the increased level of protection, the ATC's defense is limited due to its displacement and size, only able to withstand attacks from small-caliber weapons. Fortunately, the level of firepower of the U.S. military's opponents is not very high, so the ATC is sufficient to handle most situations. The troop carrier's transportation capacity is slightly weaker than that of the LCM-6, and can only transport about 40 soldiers, or a 105 mm howitzer or light vehicles. The armaments on the craft typically include two M2 heavy machine guns, an MK-18 40mm grenade launcher, and two 20mm autocannons. In addition, the seven crew members also carry individual weapons, such as M16 rifles and M79 grenade launchers. The ATC also has subsequent variants, with the most interesting being the ATCH, a troop carrier with the ability to accommodate helicopters. This craft has a deck installed above the troop compartment, allowing helicopters such as the UH-1 Huey to take off and land. The helicopters can be used for personnel transfer or material transportation, making the ATCH possibly the smallest watercraft in the world with carrier-based aircraft capabilities. Due to the armor and mobility of the ATC, some are equipped with a large number of radio devices to serve as command craft for the entire operation team. Others have enlarged fuel tanks to provide fuel for the entire team during operations, as well as portable fuel tanks. There is also a version with reinforced armor, thicker and installed with heavy weapons, such as recoilless rifles and 81mm mortars, serving a similar role to heavy tanks on land, although with poorer mobility and transport capabilities. Generally, the U.S. military will mix and match various troop carriers, including those outside the ATC series, when carrying out missions. The armored troop carrier ATC has a full load displacement of about 60 tons, a length of about 17 meters, a width of 4.4 meters, a maximum speed of 8 knots, a maximum range of 200 kilometers, and a crew of 7.